morning and welcome to Underwater, exploring the myths and legends of BC lakes. I'm your host, Garen Avaloki Teshvara. My uh, partner, Kelly Martwig, is the one who does the piano music on our videos. And this is a brand new channel we're starting, um, mainly, you know, d due to COVID. It wiped out our business and, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, we're an older couple, you know, I, I'm uh, just over 60, my wife's in her mid-50s. We spend a lot of time kayaking and out on the lakes in appreciation of nature. And we want to bring this very special channel to you today. So we have an intro video on our YouTube channel. Please consider uh, becoming a patron through Patreon. Uh, $4 a month Canadian, right up through $25 a month Canadian. At the $25 a month level, if we get any footage of a lake monster that's easily identifiable and razor sharp, you will see it 72 hours before public and news media get hold of that video. As well, we'll be offering uh, fan promotions where you maybe can come with us if you're here in BC for an adventure or make a special request. So for today though, we're going to be focusing on a small unboxing video of the brand new Titan T1 Pro drone that we've just acquired and it's right here in this box right here. So this drone comes, uh, and I'll step out of frame for a second, you know, in a big box. And in this box here, we have the robotic arm attachment. Now, there are other options available for this drone, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. For now, we really want to start taking a look at this drone. So you're not going to see so much of me on the camera. We're going to be switching to another point of view so we can focus on the drone. And of course, uh, we're just beginning this, so bear with us as we adapt and grow in this wonderful process we would call life. Take care. Look forward to many, many videos exploring the depths, perhaps uh, something that hasn't been seen before. Who knows? It's going to be exciting. So with that, we're going to switch directly into opening up for the first time our new underwater drone, the Titan T1 Pro. So as I was saying, the Titan T1 Pro uh, comes well boxed. This came directly from Hong Kong. Um, as far as I'm aware, I'm the first person in North America to receive the new T1 Pro. And here's what she looks like when we open up the case. I guess we have to unbuckle it first. So one of the things I'll point out is this drone comes well packaged in a, a solid uh, flexi hard uh, case with four good size uh, rubberized wheels. There's actually a rubber gasket over the wheel, so it's not just plastic, but there is some rubber there. There is also an extension handle, as well as, well as room for a Kensington lock on the outside of the, uh, the suitcase itself. And it's a, simple, it's a simple zip open, and up she comes. So this is the brand new Janino T1 Pro drone. This is the 200 meter kit. And this is how it's packaged when you first get it to the house. Now, one of the things I'm gonna point out, which is really interesting, and yes, I had been in the box before, I admit it. But you actually receive a tablet to use with the controller, and that is not mentioned anywhere in any of the documentation. So you can imagine my surprise when I uh, opened this up and found this tablet cover and then this pink tablet to use with the drone. But of course, I'm appreciative. That's a free tablet either way. I have a, a 10 inch Android, which I would prefer to use and we'll see how that goes a little later on. But for now, you need to know that your drone does come with a tablet. Aside from the tablet, we have the controller. And this is the drone controller here. It's the stretch and lock controller. There's a, uh, a click release and lock on the back. Nicely labeled by the product maker. And all your controls are plainly labeled and right here in front of you. Very much like a, a, a video game pad. So, you know, uh, movements that a lot of people will be already used to making. And of course, it's going to be a whole new experience controlling this thing underwater and getting used to driving it. 
So with that comes, as I said, your control pad. You have your various charging cables in here. This is the 200 meter spool that comes with the, the particular model that I bought. The reason I chose the 200 meters is this drone has a depth of 175 meters or 574 feet. And I want to be able to utilize all of it. So that was the purpose of the 200 meter. Apparently this can go to 300 meter with an add-on, which I can do in the future. It's a nice little system. It's ready to sit wherever it needs to be. And this is your mounting plate. If you can see right here, this mounting plate, this mounting plate is where the transmitter is going to sit. That's going to transmit through wireless, the video feed, as well as sending the signals to the drone through the cable. Now, what's the beautiful thing about a cable? Well, the beautiful thing about a cable, this cable is capable of uh, supporting, you know, a, a minimum of 100 pounds. So if your drone were to lose power for some reason or get a little caught on, on you know, tied around a 30 pound branch, in a worst case scenario, you can gently and carefully pull your drone and that branch up, disentangle it and still be in business. So you can see, of course, the connector here and the opposing connector that's going to go into the uh, wireless transmitter. So we're gonna set that aside for now, find some room here. Um, the room's a little tight. This is a brand new space for me and we'll be adding some of that in the video as well. And I'm sorry you're seeing everything except my head, but I wanted to focus on what's important. And that is the Titan T1 Pro. So in the box you will find there various filters to use underwater. <laughs> Get it in the picture. There's this more purple one as well as an orange. This uh, drone features a Sony uh, CMOS camera. Um, it is a, uh, a great uh, starlight quality video camera and is capable of uh, 4K video. There's uh, an onboard storage for your um, uh, SD card where, where the video is going to be recorded. So this is the drone itself and, and it's funny that the, the drone actually <laughs> has a little bit of weight to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it right out of the box here and I'm just going to place it here for now so I can take this box out of the way and we can spend a little more time with the unit itself. So this is the Titan T1 Pro. It is not a big object. That's one of the beautiful things about it. And I don't know that I have much of a ruler around here, but you know, realistically, we're talking tip to tail. She's only about 40 centimeters long by a width again of about 40. So it's probably about 50 long about 40 wide and standing from the, 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 the brackets up to the top, it's going to be only about 15 centimeters tall. Now, as you'll see in the top here, there's your port. That is the port where your cable is going to attach. And that's going to attach from this unit right here and attach directly to here. You're going to want to make sure that there, you know, there is an O-ring in here. You're going to want to inspect your O-ring. I would even recommend a little bit of silicone lube on that O-ring to keep it nice and flexible and keep it from cracking. And that's going to get screwed in tightly there. And that's your communications and control. Now this unit here has six thrusters in total with the option of a seven thruster, which you can add in the future, which sits underneath to give left and right motion. So you can see you have two light, nice larger thrusters in the back end. And I have ordered thruster covers for these, which will be coming a little later. And that will help prevent anything from clogging up one of your thrusters. Then you have four additional thrusters mounted on the left and right side of the unit. And then of course, on the underneath, you have your data connection point for your robotic arm your laser scaler, your water quality sensor, 
the additional battery pack with additional 6,000 lumens or the additional thruster. There's the support rail here and the bracket. And of course, some additional weights come to help with the negative buoyancy. The unit itself is not heavy. I would say it weighs around oh, 10 pounds or so, maybe 11 pounds. That's all about it. Very easy to get into the water. And now we're going to take a look at this arm. And I haven't even unboxed this arm yet. So you're going to have to bear with me a minute as we unbox this arm. So I'm back with you again and I, I've gotten the arm out of the box and we're going to take the arm out and we're going to take at the actual arm assembly. So this is a, uh, a, a robotic arm that is ready to go with extension and uh, retraction as well as your clamps and of course your connection to the data point and it looks like that this is going to slide right on and then get bolted on to the actual unit. So uh, we haven't actually tried this before, but we're just gonna take a look and see. Yes, so we can see that there are six spaces there and that this arm is going to sit, if we can get it right, like that. Nice positive fit right in that space. And then when the unit is facing around, the arm will be extending out from the unit as so, directly in front, so you can actually see it with the camera and, uh, and get a focus. So there's one more component we should take a quick look at. And that is your main, your main power supply. To, to do your charging of the 9,000 watt hour uh, battery that's inside of the drone itself. That gives the unit about four hours of runtime, expandable to eight with the additional battery that it would carry externally on the downside of the unit. And this is your pro wireless transmitter that is going to mount to, to, to the side of this unit here and it's going to sit right on here like so. It's actually magnetic. So you find the location where it's meant to fit, just like that. And it just clips on, that's it. And then this single cable here will simply be taken out of its holster and connected right into that point. And that'll allow us transmission. So what we're going to do is we're going to end our first video here. Uh, and, and switch back to our main camera for a minute so I can talk to you face to face. And we're gonna continue on with assembling the unit and running an actual test in our next video dry test. And then we're gonna take the unit and we're gonna fill the bathtub and we're gonna test the unit in the bathtub. Now, the one other thing I wanted to point out is I've given this unit a very careful once over. You know, looking very carefully at the quality of workmanship, at the seaming, at, at the, 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 the motors themselves, everything seems to be, quite honestly, top notch. It's a really solid, good feeling little unit. The plastics don't feel weak or, or, or not strong enough or not rigid enough. It feels very solid to the touch. And I'm sure that's going to go a long way. The same with the robotic arm. It's a very good solid system. You can tell there's been some work and thought put into it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what... Hi again. So that is the end of our uh, first unboxing video with the Janino Titan T1 Pro drone. Capable of depths of 175 meters. And as I said, we're going to have a a second video where we're actually going to get it all hooked up and do a dry test with it and then we're going to do a bathtub test 
And after that, as soon as the weather changes and we can get on board with heading out into the lakes, we're going to take this drone to the last known sighting of the Ogopogo in Okanagan Lake and we're going to hunt Ogopogo. Much love to you today from myself, Garen Avaloki Teshvara. You're welcome to join us on our Awaken the World channel as well, which is all about raising consciousness. We also have a channel that's dedicated to meditations. And over time, many of these beautiful underwater footage videos we're going to shoot will be put to Kelly's amazing piano work. Again, all our love today. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and live life to its fullest. Take care.